U.S. prosecutors are investigating Tether. Okay. Wait, I, I've heard this one before. Yeah, it's, I feel like I've heard I've this, this before. Th this this one feels like it could be different. <laughs> I mean, it's sure. famous. This is why we're talking about it. I mean, uh, like the, the reason it could be different is because this was uh, an article from the Wall Street Journal uh, reporting that the federal government is probing Tether for possible violations of sanctions. This is AML KYC type stuff, right? So right. some of the charges we've, we've seen Binance go down for and BitMEX from Arthur Hayes and uh, others. Of course, uh, Tether is denying this. So this is the CEO of Tether with a statement. As we told the Wall Street Journal, there's no indication that Tether is under investigation. Wall Street Journal is regurgitating old noise. Full stop. I mean, we've had uh, Apollo on the podcast before, and he's just been quite clear that of his entire business model depends on working with U.S. regulators. Right. So yeah. he's going to like do everything they say. If they mm -hmm. say jump, he's going to say like how high. So right. I've, I find that kind of compelling. I, I don't see any like motivation of why Tether would destroy its business model by like they poking. are the most profitable business in crypto. One of them. It's actually like, insane. why they would threaten that with doing anything nefarious whatsoever. Uh, it would be ridiculous. That's why I sort of default dismiss it as FUD. That said, the U.S. government, for whatever reason, if they just have, um, if they just like want to, if some people if they're just done power, with tether. Yeah, they're, they're like, like, you know what? It's We're time not, to we shut like you down anymore. now. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. They would cloak it in something like AML KYC violations, and they're not right. playing ball. Right. And I just want to hit the power button and shut it down. Yeah. So uh -huh. there's also the potential that that could be going on. So we really just like don't know. Of course, it's a centralized stablecoin. So at the end of the day, this does not settle on chain. This settles in meat space. And at the end of that is like the U.S. government because it's the dollar and it's in a U.S. bank account. It settles on Fedwire. And so they can shut it down if they want to. I'm just like not convinced that's the case. What's like te Tether is like one of the, um, is it top 15 uh, entities with the most U.S. treasuries? Right. Yeah. I mean. Uh, higher than most countries, you know? Yeah. The U.S. wants Casual. to still sell those treasuries, right? So they need some sorts of demand. Uh, when this news broke out, uh, USCT, the token, dropped significantly by like eight basis points or something. <laughs> and it I mean, the, like, the entire crypto market just shrugged it off. We've heard yeah, this before. We've heard Tether FUD 10,000 times. The fact, like, we, when Ryan and I make the agenda for the weekly roll up, like, we, it's, we put all the news from the week in there, and then very frequently there's some Tether FUD. And we usually just kill it just because, like, why, why would we report on this? It's always like FUD. For some reason, we've decided to talk about this one, <laughs> but <laughs> that's how it goes. To continue leveling up your crypto game, then you need to get on the Bankless newsletter. It's the world's most popular crypto email and is completely free. Just click below to sign up.